Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you the Grand Sole Minimum Update, Friday, March 1st, 2019. You're looking full steam ahead at the models. Let's just pause it. Heavy snow moving through the south-central U.S., covering most of the states. That are your fates. Look at the southern Appalachians. Heavy snow. Colorado, Wyoming border. Central Appalachians. Oh, look at the, oh my God, the Rockies. Southern Rockies. Heads up. Secondary system moving through that. Adding insult to injury. Bringing blizzard conditions to Iowa. A third system. Doubling the blizzard. Double twos. 22 right there. Heads up. Southeast Iowa, you're about to get ultra boomed. Keep calm. An ultra boom, Iowa. New CMIP data suggests an extended period of solar decline, which is looking fine, extending through 2100. You are here, and just pretend you're at the mall, and this is the map, and this is the arrow. There you are. And you're going to be sitting there. For the next 12 to 16 months, even at the uptick here of 25, we're still going to be down low. And if my prediction comes true, we'll never reach above 1361 ever in our future. Solar cycle 25 will be barely 60% of what 24 produced as far as total solar irradiance in watts per square meter. And we're watching it for you. Keep calm and ultra boom. Let's get into it. Heavenly North Star and Kirkwood Resorts extend ski season due to monstrous snow totals. Want to see what the snowiest month ever looks like at Tahoe Ski Resort? I bet you do. Squall Valley Alpine Meadows hit 300 inches. And we've been bloviating about this for days. Is there audio? Holy sh... I, I have time to... Do Holy macaroni. Smoke a bowly. And, and that's what I sounded like for two days when my tractor broke. Do a dab. Do it now.
Do it. <laughs> oh my god. Leave it off. Do it, Dad. All right, we're back. We're back in control. Do a dab. Prick! What is going on? You're fiddling with our new studio. I knew it. <sighs> holy sh! Holy mackerel! We'll get to that in a moment. Snowplow crews worked to clear roads in Sun Valley. A series of winter storms walloped Idaho through most of February, setting near record records for precipitation and snow depth across the state. According to the National Weather Service in Boise, the area top February precipitation record Thursday afternoon. We showed you some amazing snow removal. An excellent water year. Let's check if we're back. We're still back. Yeah, that's good. Snow death doubles in state's latest Sierra survey. Yeah, global warming alarmists have been saying that you're on watch. It's no surprise, but feet upon feet of Sierra snow across multiple storms in February transplanted to healthier snow water content for Cali. How healthy? The Department of Water Resources officials observed more than double what they measured last month at Phillips Station near Echo Summit. Whew. Recording 113 inches of snow depth with the water equivalent of 43.5 inches of Sierra cement. On Thursday, according to new releases. These fucking pricks. And they're still restricting your water flow. Because they're selling it. They're selling it to like... Nestle and other bottled water resources. I thought it was a drought too, bro. I don't even know, little baby. Yeah, I thought it was a drought, baby. Apparently we're getting... Jiggy. Check out Colorado. Holy. There ain't no drought here, bro. Pink through light blue means you're even having a, a girl or a boy. And we're not even being coy. Mm. Big winter steamboat springs. Heads up. Looks like Vale Breck. Holy sh. Breck is going to ski Cooper. That's not a schmooper. Heads up, Aspen. You are you get schmucked. We don't even want you. Aspen can suck it. Here are the latest snowfall totals in Massachusetts. Forecasters predict between 3 and 5 inches. And that was true for many communities. Saugus received 4. Weymouth, 4.5. Marshfield, 4.5. Plymouth, 5.4. Al Gore's a whore. The Cape saw varying amounts from 2.5 to 5.4 in Plymouth. Al Gore's a whore. And Chatham, 3 in Trudeau. And there are your numbers, which are not schmumbers. This is just a shardical event. A perturbation in your situation. And you're about to see some amazing tropical tidbits get stuck up your arse. In a moment. Oh, shit. 
I have to figure out the kinks in my chinks. Those are little cracks. Let's look at the models. Okay. Starting Friday. Midnight into your Saturday morning. You're going to be picking up snow in Southern Appalachians. Crossing through Philly. Northern New Jersey. And pummeling Connecticut through Boston. Which will be your Lawston. We're talking 16 inches predicted. In the next 48 hours. In Connecticut. Rhode Island. And the Penance. Heads up Jimmy. At the same time. Two to three feet are predicted in some areas in the Sierras. And Colorado is going to be on the lowdown. And it's a showdown. And then Saturday through our Sunday is going to be our fun day. The beast from the West is going to pummel. Misery, Arkansas. And then the Southern Appalachians get it again. Heads up. Look at this model. Holy sh... <laughs> Holy sh... March 7th through the 11th are going to be unprecedented. You're with us. A week from now, we're going to be experiencing some of the most insane weather ever recorded in North America. Anywhere. Ever. And I don't even have on pleather. But I probably have some kind of a micro fleece that's like pleather. Only softer. Look at that! Holy sh... Quad cities. Call Schmitties. If these models come true, I wish I was a Jew. And people left me millions of dollars. Nor'easter dumps record snowfall in some parts of the area. The same thing happened last year. I'm no queer. History will repeat itself. We are deepening into the solar minimum, which we call the Eddy minimum, which is the new modern grand solar minimum, which is a super grand solar minimum, a 400-year event, which begins now. Subscribe to the channel. and We'll show you how to prepare and survive and thrive in the future. Last year, March 22nd, a nor'easter dumped record snowfall. And we're going to see it again in a week from now. And if you're in Europe, this is your March 11th. Heads up, UK, northern area buried. Nowhere in the north without snow. And now Ireland picking up on the pattern. Heavy snow in the Alps. There's snow in North Africa. And Norway will tilt. West Russia, Moscow, north of there. <laughs> in there like swimwear. The snows will pummel. As we enter early spring, ding, ding. Game on. We predicted it. You'll experience it. And that's how it works. Now. A huge, strange-looking fish washed up on California beaches. It's a first. Now, this is a sunfish. Oceanic version. The hoodwinker. Well... I am well versed in this fish. I have been up and down the coast of the most. I've been in and out of the sea. I've been up and down the Atlantic and the Pacific in boats. <coughs> and I've even ro rode alongside massive sunfish in the Atlantic out 250 miles fishing shark. Now this particular guy... It, is heralded from Chile, which is south of the equator. And they're wondering why this fish could swim through the equator because this is a temperate sunfish, which means it likes cooler water, like water up in Philly, where I'm from. And when I was 200 miles offshore, we would interact with sunfish like this. 
that like the cool water. Now, this guy came all the way from Chile across the equator and up into North California. Yay! And they don't know why. And that's because the equatorial waters are cool. And he swam right through. And that's how you do that. It's called global cooling. 140 earthquakes have hit Utah in two weeks. Now, we are seismologist geeks. And here's what the Utah Division of Emergency Management says you should do to minimize quake damage. Stop, tuck, and roll right underneath of your kitchen table. A total of 139 earthquakes occurred in Bluffdale, Utah between February 13th and February 25th. The University of Utah Seismographic Station reported Tuesday, which was their lose day, seismically. Heads up. You're about to get sucked into a vortex, Utah, and everything is now blue. Not, Not only that, Two earthquakes strike Region 8 less than 15 minutes apart. We're talking Pemiscot County, Missouri, New Madrid. And it has been boom time, folks. Seismic update, no quakes of note. We're waiting for the solar polar fields to reverse and an 8 magnitude or greater to hit anywhere on the Ring of Fire. Like a funeral pyre. Let's bring it in. North America. Let's hit settings. Let's go to seven days. All mag. And let's melt down the computer. We're doing it now. Follow us. Now, we've been following the Appalachian Fault. Wow, we just had a landslide. Did you hear that? We've been following the Appalachian Fault for two years. And we've been waiting for a moment. Where we can record one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen is the tipping point. We have twelve quakes and one man made explosion in this region. And we are officially in an uptick in the New Madrid zone. Hmm. Dab worthy. <coughs> Worldwide volcano news update. Fuego Kalaminsk Popo Katapeto. Shivalush Dukono Reventador Sakorejima Sabankaya. Sakorejima exploded. You hear the landslides happening outside, twelve thousand feet. Kalaminsk to twelve thousand. Popo. Dissipated ash. Shivalush blowing up. There, look at that clap. Look at that puff. Puff, puff, pass to the right. Manam to 10,000 feet. Dukono, 7,000 feet. Holy sh- We're kicking it off. It's kicking off. Spaceweathernews.com. Do a dab. Now, what we're going to look at here is a major uptick. We're going to refresh this for you live. Mm. Let's look at the data together. Soak it in. I think the roof may collapse. If I die, it'll be live. What we see is a coupling... Of the with the coronal hole, 
yesterday. Here we see density increasing, and then just after that, plasma speed increasing, bringing us into geomagnetic instability. And here the temperature is fluxing. I'm not schmucksing. Oh, triple red bar. Yeah. If you haven't been having connectivity problems over the last 24 hours, it's because of these red spikes, and we're in one. We're in it. That means it's an Aurora warning or watch. Boom time in Canada. Lit up like a fucking match. Heads up, Saskatchewan, Ottawa, Alberta. I know it's cold out. Go look, Saskatch. You're glowing. And you may just see that stick and stone man one of these days. As we glaze and haze from the maze of the schmaze. Now, these red numbers here in the Seahurst data, which I've just, and my roof is collapsing in the studio. <laughs> boom! And that's tonight's first roof boom, collapse, boom. Holy shit, we got a long way to go. Now, this is surface charging of satellites in this region, Southern Hemisphere. That might be YouTube. Holy shit. Goes electron flux going jiggy. Where is Will Smith when you need him? And this is just a coronal hole coupling as the magnetosphere wanes. And we have a sunspot coming around the limb here with some activity. It's actually a plague. But we're going to have some fun. Coming soon. It's equatorial. Which means we're still deepening into the minimum. And we're going to get to that in a moment. Whew. We just opened up bandwidth like you cannot believe. And my nickname is Steve. 23 minutes and 6 seconds in. And I'm glad you stuck with us. Because you're about to learn some science. If you're in compliance. And that is a complatic boom. As we enter the modern Grand Eddy minimum for the next 12 to 16 months, weather will get unprecedented. And the mainstream is predicting cycle 25 to be bigger than 24. See that? Now, I want to just break down some knowledge for you. Here we are, right here. And they're predicting bigger cycles. Now, when we were back here, 200 of the top solar scientists predicted cycle 24. And 198 out of 200 were wrong. It is the number one biggest statistical mistake in scientific history. And now, if you want to believe these guys and their prediction of cycle 25, phew, you have a 99.5% chance of being an idiot. That's the prediction. Yeah. Let's come over to the butterfly. You can see how cycle 24 is laying out unlike any other cycle in history since maybe back here in 1880. See how the 1880 cycle laid out real low like that? Maybe the 1910 centennial minimum cycle here. Either of these three, very similar. But this baby is laying out and laying out thick. I want to show you how thick that is. We have three or four years to go on this before we see some other sunspot activity higher up in the equatorial region. So basically what this butterfly diagram shows here in the upper region is the actual place where plagues and sunspots occur on the sun. If this is the equator of the sun, we'll have spots below and above in the red region are the bigger spots, yellow region, minor spots, black, periphery spots. <coughs> so, what we're seeing turn around the limb right now is a spot in the southern hemisphere close to the equator, which is indicative of solar minimum. So we have this bright spot coming around right here. It's going to fill in right in this region. And then we'll have more and more spots towards the equator 
as we end cycle 24, which is not going to end until 2020, folks. Mark my words. Not till 2020. We have plenty of time. You need to be preparing now. If you want to know more about sunspot cycles and why I'm right, I will leave you links to solarsystemcentral.com. And you can learn about what sunspots are and how we detect them. <coughs> Come over to the Marshall Space Flight Center and learn about solar cycle prediction. This is old, but it's the newish you get. <coughs> Still getting over the cold. I'm fine. I work harder than most people on the planet. Now, let's talk about some more information you'll get links to, hopefully. Sunstorms. A synthesis of solar cycle prediction coming out in 1999. If you're interested in predicting solar cycles and how the mainstream gets it wrong 99.5% of the time, read the paper or just burn it like I did. Sunstorms. Learn about what happens when micronovas may occur or even large geomagnetic storms. It's boom time, kids. And you need to bone up on the facts on solar flares CMEs and, and what we talk about so that you're not left in the dark. Read about it. Get informed. Now, Royal Observatory Greenwich, USAF, NOAA, Sunspot Data. Get informed. Links below. Mm. I think the roof may collapse at any moment. That's just the whole fun of being in a new studio. Magnetic bubbles on the moon reveal evidence of sunburn and solar outburst. Micronova, the 12,500 year event, right there, boom. That's why they went to the moon. That's why there's NASA. That's why there's NOAA. To uncover evidence of micronova from our sun. And report it back to the powers that be that were, are boring underground all over North America. Not to save your ass. Scientists just pulled CO2. Damn it. What is that? Let's get rid of that. That is so annoying. Scientists just pulled CO2 from the air and turned it into coal. This happens at every magnetic reversal. Every Mass extinction, climate change reversal, scientists can now turn carbon dioxide back into coal. Yeah, that's what's called coal measures. Mass this extinction events. Is taking place um, in a very, very delayed... Uh... You want to know more about what we're talking about? Check out our new channel, Magnetic Reversal News. Subscribe. This is pathetic. There should be 2.7 million people subscribed to this. And one one thousandth of a percent of the population in North America gives a fuck. Magnetic reversal update with Maverick Star Reloaded. We've been trying to do this interview for 20 days. That's how busy we both are. Do it now. Thumbs up. Get this to 5,000 views. If not, you can all suck it. That's as far as I feel. I'm not doing this for anything else but your benefit. Benefit from it. Prepare now. My roof is about to collapse live on air. Cataclysmic polarity shift. Top secret information I'm sharing you now from Air Command and Staff College. Recently declassified information. Tyler J. Williams, Captain USAF. A research report submitted to the faculty in partial fu fulfillment of his master's thesis. A cataclysmic polarity shift. 71 pages of the best information that you can saturate yourself with. Saturate yourself with this. We're going to do videos on this on the new channel. So if you're a total dolt and you can't read, we're going to break it down.
and you can watch the video. You fucking schmuck. Can you believe this? Can you believe we have to tell you this exists? Disclaimer, the views expressed here are probably true. And you may be fluxed. Holy shit. Shit's about to hit the fan. And here's the master's thesis on it. Can you believe how amazing we are? The type of information we share and the lack of subscribers and people watching this video content. It is mind boggling. I see 80,000 people watching videos about nothing when they could be learning about magnetic reversals, glaciation, the end of the empire, reset, 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 reset. There's never a chance to pass the information on. Those that control it control the narrative. Now, Earth's fish are not disappearing because of climate change. They're disappearing because of Kroger and Whole Foods that now own all the multinational fisheries on the planet. And they have literally fished all the fish out of the ocean. It's not because of you. It's because of rich assholes that are fishing the ocean clean. It will replenish. Trust me. It's about to get really bad. If you want to know some tips, check out the Grand Solar Minimum's Crazy Canuck, who is hard at work putting up videos on how people just like you can sex eggs and grow food inside when it's minus 35 outside. He just, I mean, this guy is prolific. And I want to thank you guys for bringing him above 1,000 subscribers. We should bring him above 2,000 tonight. And those of you that haven't come over here should take your head out of your ass and do it. Unless you don't care about information. But that's your own sequestration. One of the biggest problems moving into rural areas is that many of these huge tracts of land are owned by HOAs. Now, Leah and I have run into some major problems with HOAs and POAs and PPOAs, and they can all PPOA suck it. Pagosa Lakes. And up where Oppenheimer Ranch Project originally started, Rito Blanco Ranches, they can suck it too. She's on the board up there. And these groups actually find someone because their car left a penis-shaped melt pattern in the snow. That's how insane these pricks are. So if you're buying rural land, make sure there is no HOA, PPOA, there are no covenants, there are no rules, and you can literally shit in your front yard and smack your cock on a tree if you want to. Otherwise, you're fucked. And they will find you. Huge spider drags a possum across Amazon rainforest floor in haunting footage. I wish we could get this. Holy shit. Can we get some haunting footage? Did you know that a neo-Nazi group appointed a new leader and he's black? A black activist. Black Lives Matter, hoping to dismantle the entire organization. Do you know how stupid neo-Nazis are? Are you kidding me? I've seen it all. The end is near. The end is near. Holy macaroni. I need to smoke a bully. And I hope this loads. Like... To the nth degree. Holy shit. Why isn't this loading? Please, let me see a spider drag some shit across the desert. Maybe I have a block on. Let's check it. Let's block it. Let's put on a schmock and rock lock it.
Hopefully that will load. Did you hear about this? SpaceX is about to launch a female mannequin into space for NASA. Never a straight answer. And this mannequin named Ripley is probably actually a person that they don't want you to know is going to the next moon base or whatever. This is totally creepy shit. And from the information we're about to disseminate to you over the coming weeks, your mind will be blown. And thanks to the bold nature of Dr. Dunning and his disclosure, we're going to be doing an epic expose because it's not just me coming out Many others, for one reason or another, are coming to the forefront and they are dumping full disclosure what they know. And it is, it's, it's mind-blowing. It's mind-blowing. The information you're about to learn in the coming weeks will blow your f***ing mind. And this spider will not load. We will send you links to it. But we really need to close up tonight. And that's a boom. Some technical difficulties. We're about to, roof's about to collapse in our new studio. You can hear the snow melting and moving and crushing like a glacier. But you want to know what also will be crushing like a glacier? The Phillies! Yes. My stomping ground. The Philadelphia Phillies have landed Harper for 13 years at $330 million. We're talking about Gabe Cowper. Heard the big news in the stands. Yes, he did. Bryce Harper is agreeing to a 13-year, $330 million deal. And that means that we're going to win a World Series before we blow up again. I love the Phillies. I love them. It's like a hobby. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Paying a human $330 million to hit a baseball is insane. It's the same as the Roman Empire. That's where we've gotten to. All the information that you watch on mainstream media and the television is to prepare you to be unprepared. It's to disinform you of what's actually happening. If you haven't picked this up, you still suck in that blue teat. Time to take the red pill. Time to let the knowledge spill. We're here to guide you, not to chide you. The facts are in. I've been a paleoclimatologist since 1989. I actually believed in global warming at one point, right around here. And then sometime in the late 2000s, early to mid, I was concerned that exactly what I knew was coming true. You have been lied to. Prepare now. Not only are we entering a super grand solar minima, but the magnetosphere is waning. The magnetic field is shifting. This is a 12,500 year event. Coupling with a grand solar minimum of 400 year capacity, which led to the last mini ice age, we're talking unprecedented grid failure, famine, Global unrest. Do you have wild crafting skills? Do you know how to wild harvest? What zone are you living in? Do you know how to grow food? Do you have dry foods? Dry goods? Are you prepared? Do you know how to light a fire? Can you filter water? Are you taking up space? You're a disgrace! Subscribe to the channel. Share this with like-minded people. The only moment you live is now. If you're hearing my voice, you're alive. If you feel a tingle in your back and you didn't just smoke the crack, then you know what I'm talking about. Time is now to prepare. Find like-minded people.
make a bug out plan, learn a new skill, go fishing. Turn your panel off in your house for a week. Cut the power. Will you make it? <laughs>